So uh, today's homework is going to be 3.5. Remember, we did 3.5 a couple days ago. So this is a review. So I'm just going to do one problem just to sort of help you remember how to do these word problems. Is that okay? So write this one down. This is actually number two on your homework. So this is, I'm doing one for you. Okay. So find a number. This is a word problem, even though just it's one sentence. Find a number that is 38 less than. Uh, it's opposite. The reason why I'm doing this is because even though this is really easy, people are having trouble. They're asking me, how do you even start? I'm like, okay, you just do five-step plan, the same thing we've been doing, okay? So hopefully uh, you could follow this along. So as you write this down, tell me with your fingers how many unknowns you see in this problem. That's our step one, okay? All right, mm-hmm. Some people are still writing, sorry, go ahead, but all right. If you're done writing, please show me with your fingers how many unknowns. What do you think? Huh? How many unknowns? Everybody participate. Yeah, 100% participation here, guys. All right. Okay. Mimi, what do you think? Two? You're right. Some of you said one. Uh, but but I, I can see why you may say one, because to get the other unknown is sort of easy. But nevertheless, there are two unknowns. There are two things you don't know. What's the uh, oh. what's the first thing, you, Mimi, that we don't know? The yeah, the number. So I'm gonna let x to be the number. Now, what is then the other unknown? Cha? It's opposite. Yeah, it's opposite. But this is sort of easy. We, in our head, we already know. So how do you find the opposite of a number? For example, if I have I don't know seven. What's opposite of seven, class? Negative. Good. What's opposite of negative five? Five. Five, right? Uh, what's the opposite of million? Negative. Yeah, so how do you get the opposite of a number? How do you represent this now? This, how are you going to represent this other unknown? Uh, this is sort of, uh, yes, how about Matthew? Exactly. So then, isn't that your other unknown? Then negative one times x is the other unknown? Yes, sir? Yeah, this, you could just write it as negative x, but you know, I just wanted to sort of emphasize what that negative really means, right? It's negative one times that number. Every time you multiply a number by negative one, don't you get the opposite of the number? It's in the back. It's not there anymore. It's right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Does that make sense? Okay. So uh, then, anybody know how to write an equation for this simple uh, question? Tajwar. Good. X equals. Why did you write X equals start with? What? Why did you write that? Why did you write X equals two? That's exactly right. Because X is the number and has the highest value. Yeah, it says, no, it says find a number that is. What does is mean? Equal, equal to. So find a number that's X, right? That is, so, which is equal to. Then what, Tajwa? Um, negative X or negative 1X minus 38. Good. How come you wrote. The other way around, 38 looks like it comes first, right? Should we write 38 minus the opposite or something? Uh, Claire? No, because it says less than. And what does that mean? It. Yeah, you need to reverse the order, right? It says less than, so that's, that's exactly right. Find a number, that's x, right? That's what we're looking for. x is 38 less than, so it's going to be something minus 38. Does that make sense? And what is that something that has to come first? Opposite. opposite. What's opposite of this x, guys? There you go. Isn't that what it means? X equals to negative X minus 38, right? And if you remember, uh, when we were doing 3.5, this is where you had, you know, variables on both sides of the equation. So we know how to solve these things, don't we? Go ahead, everybody. I'll give you time. Tell me what the answer is. I'll wait. Eric, tell me what to do first here, sir. Uh, you would add both sides by X. You would what? You would add both sides by x. Why would you want to do that, Eric? Uh, yeah, you have you have variables on both sides of the equation. You want to gather them together. Now, how do you gather this one? How do you get rid of this negative x minus 38? The x part, you just add x to both sides, and you get uh, 2x equals to negative 38. Would you not agree? Mm -hmm. Then, of course, what do we do here, Samara? Divide by 2. So x came out to be negative 19. Is it okay for this x to be negative number? Yeah, it, does, it didn't say it can't be. A number could be negative or positive, right? I know that many times when we look, when we think about these answers, it should come out to be positive, right? But it doesn't necessarily have to be. 
right? So we got x equals ni negative 19, and that's our step four, which is solving. Step five is to write the answer in a sentence. So what do we write? Jason? Yeah, the number is negative 19, sort of simple. Is there a way to check and see whether we got this right? How would you check this, since we have time, Michael? Yeah, replace the x with negative 19. In other words, you plug it in, right? You evaluate this equation by plugging in x equals to negative 19. And when you evaluate or plug in, I want you to use? Parentheses. Thank you, parentheses. So go ahead, everybody check and see if it comes out to be correct answer. So it's going to be x minus x minus 38, right? So use parentheses in place of x. So it's going to be something minus, equals to minus something minus 38, right? And like I said, this is important because sometimes, because of all these negatives, when you plug in, you may make a mistake. So use parentheses. It's going to be parentheses equals to minus, right? Negative something, not minus, negative something parentheses. So what do we get here? Uh, Christine, nah? When you plug in, in place of x, when you plug in negative 19, what does it come out to be? Yeah, negative 19 equals 2. Negative. Oh, okay. Well, just plug it in. You see, there's a parentheses. What do I get when I plug in? Yeah. Just tell me what it becomes. Yeah. Ne yeah. Give, give me the next step. I'm sorry. Give me the next step. I don't want you to actually add them up or anything. Yeah, I don't want you to do any of that. Just tell me what to plug in. What do I get when I plug in negative 19? No, just tell me, plug in 19 in this equation. On the left side, I get negative 19 yeah. equals to what? Minus 38. That's all I'm, that's all I'm asking, like this. Yeah, that's all I mean. I don't want you. Okay, then afterwards, what do you get? What's negative of negative 19? Yeah, so doesn't it become positive 19? What's positive 19 minus 38, class? Negative 19. Is it, oops, where did the negative go? So is this true? Did we get the right answer? Yeah, it checks, OK. Any question? Is this easy? Do you guys remember you know, doing these things? Okay. So for tonight's homework, uh, I want you to try these. We've, do, we've done all the odd ones, OK? So if you get stuck, look at the odd ones that you already did, because they're going to be really similar. Right? The one before or, or next to it, okay? Yeah? If you have time at the end, you should. If you don't, yeah, you don't. But many times you could just check it real fast mentally. So that's okay too. Yeah? I'm sorry? Oh, this section does not require a chart. So unless it says use chart or something like that, or they give you, you don't have to use that. Okay, especially uh, for 3.5. Any other question? Can you do something like this for your homework tonight? Yes. Yeah? Okay, good.